Good afternoon and welcome to Marigun's Diary again uh, this uh, afternoon. Uh, sorry we are having an issue with uh, timing. I know there is uh, UK is uh, one hour behind um, our time, uh, you know, moved back uh, some days back. So it means that uh, when I say 12 o'clock, if you are outside uh, the UK, just know that uh, that's going to be one o'clock if you share the same time with us in the UK or you are anywhere in Europe. Uh, but from America, I just know that uh, just take minus one from your normal time, or let me say add plus one or how it works for you. It depends from wherever you are. Remember, I said you can subscribe on My Egun's Diary. This is what it looks like if you are watching My Egun's Diary on your phone. So you can subscribe here. This is the subscribe button under the video. Click subscribe if you haven't. Then if you want to join my membership, I've got, uh, you know, my Egun's Diary political members uh, from the silver uh, tier to uh, diamond tier. You can join that too. You see this join button? Let's see if you can see it. That's the blue one there. Subscribe is red. Join is blue. So if you join any of that, you can become a silver, uh, gold, premium, prime, and diamond member. And to my silver base members who have been the uh, rock base, I'm currently at uh, nearly 70 uh, silver members. Will not be the strength of you are the foundation. You know what I mean? You are the people who actually make up the old base. And I'm very grateful to you, one by one, all of you. Today, I want to talk about uh, what uh, Wiki is doing in River States. People should begin to talk about that. People should begin to search and beam their searchlights uh, uh, on River State, not just River State, in, on the eastern part of Nigeria now. War Nigerian uh, soldiers, Nigerian army, in collaboration with the Nigerian uh, governors, the Southeast governors, the South South, they call themselves governors, who are working in Kahoot with uh, the Nigerian military to carry out uh, genocidal missions on their own citizens. This is where things really, really get me a little bit upset. And I have to say it, okay? Whenever the people are under attack of any kind of violence at all, right? The governors will tell you they don't control the military. They don't control the security. It's only the president that controls. They absolve themselves of such. They will tell you, we don't, I don't call, no, the governors don't control the security. They just call us the, I don't even control the commissioner of police. The pure lies when the, uh, what the, when the responsibility demands that the governor should protect their people, they will tell you they don't control the police. They don't control the army. They don't control the SARS. But when the mission is about to suppress and kill their people, yeah, then you will see them, governors ordered. Governor has asked the military. The governor has asked the police to arrest uh, this. Governor has uh, given this order. Governor has given that order. It is part of the fraud called Nigeria, okay? Uh, where nothing and no one is ever going to be held responsible for committing any heinous uh, crime against their own people. In a democracy, see, IPOB that you see so, the IPOB, uh, 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 what you the IPOB uh, uh, members, and IPOB as an organization too, right? They are the most legitimate organization you can find anywhere in the eastern part of Nigeria, championing the cause of the indigenous people of Biafra. They choose to call themselves that. They didn't pick up guns. Biafrans, let me tell you this. Biafrans are not limited to the Igbo land alone. Even by, what do you call it? Even by migration, over time, many, many of them have gained land outside the core Igbo land. And they gain all this land. They call them their land. But Nigeria, as a, as a, as a fake contraption, who decided to, to you know, to uh, balkanize the country using the structure they called the state creation. They decided to make many, many of you far away from your people, far away from your land, cut you out and make you strangers in so many places, because that is the purpose, to make you lose that uh, traces and possibly adopt something in your new state, because they will tell you, oh, we are Igbos in River State, we are Igbos in Bayelsa State, or we are Igbos. Now, WK is coming out to go after those he believed a minority in his own state, the Igbos, and he decided to use the name IPOP. To go after them yes give a dog bad name so that you can hang it 
IPOB has been a peaceful organization. So far, so good. I am yet to see one video or one evidence showing where Namdi Kanu, as the leader of IPOB, and so many other IPOB uh, uh, armed members holding gun and putting knife uh, on the neck of uh, anybody saying, if you don't join IPOB, if Nigeria don't give us uh, Biafra, we will kill everybody. We will kill more. I have never seen one. And Wike, Wike, who turned himself to a little Hitler, a little dictator, forgot that uh, the same thing he is trying to do to IPOB right now in River State, trying to blame them for the NSAS protest in River State. Eh? That same thing will still be meted at him as well. He is going to face the same music from other higher superior criminal, uh, possibly in Abuja. He is not safe from the same barbarity, dog eats dog, man hits man, that Nigeria has become. He is not safe from it too. But we'll talk more about the genocide that have been coordinated by the Southeast governor of Nigeria, governors, and then uh, now uh, the River State governor. They have killed more than uh, 20 people in River State in the, last, uh, in the last five days. This is just me being nice with the figures. They have killed people. You know how they, what they are doing? When the NSAS protest started, <laughs> I'll give you the background. When the NSAS protest started, we get illiterate wiki came out to say i am banning all protesting uh, river state Mo mothers should warn their children if anybody come out tomorrow to protest in river state you will be arrested you'll be dealt with that is a madman who doesn't control security a madman who doesn't control military because that's what he will tell you but he knew that he could tell them to go and kill and they will, be, they will gladly do so and give them some money too he has the thugs, the political thugs, that are also armed in River State, that if the police refuse to honor him to kill innocent people, those thugs who are scattered uh, in all the local government areas in River State, PDP thugs, he will use them and unleash them on the innocent people. He just needed something. He needed something to go after them. And the question is, why? The question is, why? At what end? Why is he doing this now? Why is he out there to kill the Igbos in River State? Why is he killing the Igbos in River State? Why is Wiki, a Southerner, killing another Southerner? That is the question you should ask yourself. Why? What, what really changed in the past, uh, in the last, uh, uh, what do you call it, in the last uh, one year or two? He never saw IPOB as a threat. Even when Inam Dekanu was in Nigeria and uh, Inam Dekanu was going about and we have uh, the uh, IPOB in River State doing their things, mobilizing massively in uh, River State. We've seen them. I've seen videos. They were never a threat to Wiki until now. And this is how it all started. He ordered that nobody should come out. Unfortunately, or let me say fortunately, that same day that Wiki gave the order, was the same day Nnam Dekanu uh, gave the directive to the IPOB members worldwide to join the NSAS protest. If you remember, it was the same day, just a few hours different. Well, Nnam Dekanu already declared, let me to be factual, Nnam Dekanu already told the uh, IPOB members to join the protest, join the NSAS protest. It is also about the police brutality against you, police brutality against the Igbos, police uh, brutality against all Nigerians. Now you as uh, Biafrans, you have your cases. Present your case uh, uh, at uh, the protest too. And that evening, around 10 p.m., we a wiki, madman wiki, decided to announce that nobody should come out for any protest in River State. He has no such power. But because Nigeria is a lawless country, where ordinary, ordinary uh, local government employee that is uh, giving tickets or issuing tickets to market, uh, uh, market women, we misuse his power because he believes he's working for government. And he'll go to the market and just scatter everybody, scatter everybody's uh, wares and all of that because they are not paying him. And he'll walk away because he believes he has such power, the power he doesn't have. Illiterate Wiki, they said he's a lawyer. Well, you can tell the type of lawyer why he chose to be a politician 
eh, a criminal politician than to be a lawyer who is fighting for human rights on the street there eh, using the law but they know there is no law nigeria has no law your tissue paper book called the constitution is as useless as every paper they print it on you know that he has no such power to ban protest so the river, I mean, the, the river, uh, riverians, the uh, people of River State told him that uh, we are going to come out. Okay? Go and bring your soldier. Go and bring your army. But tell them, say, they have to come with uh, enough, enough ammunition though, because if they run out, we'll finish them. Tell your, tell your, tell your uh, soldiers. The following day, the madman wiki, the madman wiki, instead of him to send his soldiers, when he saw the crowd, when he saw the protest, when he saw the people, when he saw the boys with their own small, small bags, which they are carrying their own, uh, uh, what do you call it? Their own guns in, anyway. When he saw the video, he couldn't send the soldiers out. He couldn't send uh, his uh, police out. Instead of them to go after, after instead of his police and his uh, other criminal uh, uh, soldiers in River State, instead of them to go after protesters, they joined the protest and they formed the security for them. I believe that jolted the idiot Wiki. You know what happened? Wiki ended up joining them in the pro at the protest ground. And he started saying, I am number one. I am number one. I am number one, person. Who is against the SS in the River State? He was barking like a dog, trying to make himself to insert himself into the protest. The protest you tried to stop 10 hours earlier. I think that bruised his ego. That bruised his ego so much that he was looking for a scapegoat. He was looking for who to take that on. If he decided to start shooting the protesters, the answers protesters, today we'll be having lucky uh, lucky investigation on lucky massacre, investigation on a river state massacre. So he chose not to do that. And he chose the regular, you know, the bullies. People who bully people, who use their power to bully you. Do all of that, right? Someone like a uh, uh, useless wiki. He knew he needed something, a scapegoat, like Bokwari and Buratayi the butcher, who always want to see a scapegoat. Who can we call? Blame somebody. Just say another nah, that person, Kosan. Just say they made you feel bad. That's why you shot them. Just say they disobey order. Just say something. Blame somebody. They couldn't find anybody in the old river state to blame for wiki's uh, useless order to stop protest. They finally found one in the IPOP, the, the easy scapegoat in the political madness in Nigeria. Every politician who wants to sound like he has a little brain, even if they don't, any politician in Nigeria wants to sound like, uh, uh, you know, their lunatic, uh, uh, their, their, their level of lunacy in a way, who wants to sound like they have brain, they prefer to attack IPOP, attack Namdekanu attack uh, every Igbo there, and they are so stupid too that they don't even have a clue about what they are talking about, and that is what even make it worse. You know when foolish people begin to tell you that they have an idea, and you are making them to explain that idea to them, the nonsense they are trying to explain is making sense, and to you it is a pure waste of time. That is where the problem is. So we can. He is a governor with brain, a stack illiterate. Let me tell you something. Illiteracy is not just about uh, not being able to read and write. What if you are able to read and write? Eh? And at the end of the day, you have actually been able to read and write nothing. Nothing sensible. So to say, there was the value of, you, uh, of your literacy. Wiki is an illiterate. It's not alone. All your leaders in Nigeria are illiterate. And that is why they will be talking about law. And they will be talking about order. But they are the lawbreakers. They are the criminals who violate your law at will. When they are caught, they have billions they have stolen to defend themselves at your fucked up uh, judiciary, right? So when I call them illiterate, I know what I'm talking about. Because if you are really learned, you will know the value of responsibility of leadership. And you will realize that uh, grandstanding, why people die, is not one of the qualities of a good leader. But they are they are they are they are literate to read and write, but they are 
stark illiterate when it comes to leadership. And that is the point. So Wiki has no such power. He has no such power. Even Bokoari, Bokoari has no such power to, to ban or proscribe any organization in Nigeria. It is only a court. Only a court of law. So when Wiki had no one to blame, when Wiki had no one to punish, when he had no one to say, ah, me, he only, he only wicked, he only wicked, I gave order, I gave order, it is like this one. I, I wonder how you guys actually uh, understand what he says. He's a pure thug. Like, if you want to see, if you want to see a, ref I mean, don't let me use refined thug. If you want to see a package, a packaged thug, who pretended to be a refined man, it is not hard to tell. Character, character tells. I don't understand how you guys actually listen or probably heard what he says. It doesn't make any statement. It doesn't make statement, complete statement uh, in any reasonable manner. I don't know how you listen to him. I don't know, but I understand why you listen to him. He represents the same country they have given to you. That's why he represents. It doesn't make a statement. It doesn't make any reasonable statement that you can say this is a governor. Someone is speaking. Like, let him talk to you for, for 10 minutes reasonably. It doesn't make it. Uh, we must all. We must all. He wants people to complete his statement for him, no matter how stupid they sound. That is wicked. But he's so good in violence that they believe that with the violence, the violence of violence, uh, you know, violence for violence with uh, uh, Rotifmi, Amechi, the Ubima, uh, Judas Iscariot. You know, Rotifmi, Amechi. That was how that one too was feeling like he was the lord of the manor. He controls this, he controls that. Until Wiki came, another bigger thug with a federal might at the time was able to overpower him and he installed himself as the new uh, the court leader in River State. And today, <laughs> I don't understand how you actually listen to them. Violence. Violence is all they know. They became who they are through violence. Today, today, Wiki has finally found who to blame for why the Riverians uh, refused to obey him when he said they shouldn't come out and protest. Blame IPOP. So he now singled them out. Is something happened during the protest, and I'm going to show you the video. This video is undated, and I cannot readily uh, verify the date it was shot, but it was shot in River State. Okay. So part of the reason, part of what uh, uh, Wiriwike said was that the IPOB members they attacked the Fulani, Aousa Fulani community in. Uh, Oyibo or Obigbo, the two local government areas, which now spilled over to LME. Uh, these three local government areas seems to be areas where the Igbos in River State, the Biafrans in River State, seems to have a higher population. Okay, they are domiciled there. However, when it comes to the clash that uh, Wiki is now shooting and going from house to house, house to house now to pick on the uh, Biafrans in uh, River State, uh, if you check the video. Maybe this will explain it better. And you will tell me, are these IPOP members? those are the ipop members that uh were a wiki 
says are uh, terrorists and is proscribing them. I don't know that uh, IPOB, you IPOB members can now speak, uh, you can now speak, I uh, will speak for full day. Eh? That is the fraud they are pushing. And as I speak to you right now, the soldiers in Port Harcourt, they are not going into each, I mean, they are not going to, I mean, from house to house, looking for those guys who are vandalizing properties, who are saying, no, lie, why no, the lie, you know, in on the lie, why in on the lie, you know, means that uh, rest in peace, may God uh, Almighty Allah rest your soul after they kill you. In on the lie, why in on the lie, you know, I don't know any IPOP member who can pronounce that uh, so conveniently during a protest. Those are the people who destroying properties in River State, in Port Harcourt, and so many other places. That uh, where the wiki, where the wiki is unable to sign or put together a proclamation and ban Aousa Fulani in River State. He dare not. Would he dare that? Is he mad? As mad as he's appearing to be, as, uh, as, as, as crazy as he's currently looking to be, he dare not say he's, I mean, he's, uh, he's prescribing the Aousa Fulani's in River State. That was Port Harcourt. They are destroying properties there. He had no balls. He has none to stand up and say, well, uh, these are the people who are... So today, from the past, for the past two days now, where the weekend as, as he has received uh, the soldiers sent from uh, Abuja to go and help him crush IPOP in River State. And when you read what he's saying, I'm going to go to his Facebook page now. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, Wiki. Yes, some wiki. So, between the public and reverse the right. If you read what he's been writing and posting, eh, you will think, in fact, he's talking about, what do you call it? He's talking about uh, Boko Haram and Fulani Asmen who are destroying uh uh, different uh, communities uh, outside uh, the northern part of Nigeria, you will think he's talking about them. I'm going to read part of what the nonsense he, he's been posting. Uh, and he even went on to go and pay 2020 million naira. You see, all those Abokis, they attacked, they attacked uh, the resident of uh, River State, they destroyed government properties, and they also killed policemen. So, Wike is now putting all of that on IPOB. He's telling the world that the NSAS protest in River State, it was organized by IPOB member. I will not allow IPOB to take over my state. Oh my God, 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 God. Listen to him first before I show you what nonsense he's been writing on social media. And you will ask yourself, hello, are we talking about Boko Haram here? Or Fulani terrorists? Or who? IPOB, who are carrying flag and placard? God damn it. They are killing them right now. People are now, as you are watching this video, people are now moving a mass out of uh, the uh, Oyibo, out of uh, Obibo, out of uh, Leme. Some are moving out of Portacot completely right now because Wiki has threatened everybody openly that they will never, if they see you, see, if you are not a PDP member and they've been looking for ways to deal with you, kill you, destroy your property, and you are Igbo, you are living in River State, eh? You are a Riverian too, you are supposed to be a Riverian uh, person, no? but now they are saying you are a migrant to River State. You are not, you don't belong to River State. You come from somewhere. That is what Wiki is pushing in River State right now. Now, if they have been looking for ways to deal with you, that you are not a member of PDP, or you are one of their people they see as their enemy, all they need to do right now is to call you a pub member. They will either send soldiers to you to arrest you, or they should they will kill you or burn your properties. That is the what uh, Wiki is promoting in River State right now. And as I speak to you right now, people are already being killed. More are being arrested. And with the coordination, determination of Wiki, I don't know who he wants to prove this to. I'm going to let you hear from him directly. Uh, again, watch this. We don't live together because we are one uh, Nigerian. I will continue to be one uh, Nigeria. We believe in the unity of this uh, country. However, we cannot because 
We want all of us to live together. Criminals will begin to threaten our state. No, we won't allow that. Will you allow that? No. We want all of us to live together. We agree. But that we will live together does not mean that I shall allow criminals to chase me away. Will you allow criminals to chase me away? No. That's one terrorist group and which everybody must be very, very vigilant about it now. Because you don't know what is happening. River State cannot be colonized by any group. River State will never, not under why I'm as governor, to be announced by any group whatsoever. We will never allow that. There's one terrorist group they call IPOP. I did not declare them terrorist group. The court declared them terrorist uh, group. Listen. The court declared them terrorist uh, group. Federal government declared them terrorist uh, group. IPOP cannot use River State to be a place where they will be launching attacks. If you allow that, your future, your children's future is gone. It is not about me. We have we are living, Igbos are living here, doing their business here, and they will continue to live here and do their businesses here. We we'll support that. But that terrorist group called IPOP cannot determine what will happen in our state. To tell us where they own in this state. It will never happen. And we must not allow it to happen. So I have called the citizens and the youth bodies and the council chairman. It will be a shame to any local government in this state to allow IPOP to say they have a possession in this state. Enough is uh, enough.